a new political reality in North Carolina. We are here to demand a new political reality in North Carolina. And we are here this morning to demand that Governor McCrory concede the election and admit defeat. You know, McCrory has got to go, and this has been the one small ray of hope this morning. I came here in solidarity with Jewish Voice for Peace and to show up as a Muslim uh, to tell uh, our old governor that he did not do anything to combat Islamophobia. Teachers have been suffering in this state for so long, and our kids have been suffering for so long under the policies of this administration. Anti-worker policies, anti-LGBTQ policies, attacks on public schools, efforts to privatize public schools, the poisoning of the environment, the giving of more tax money back to wealthy people, the denying of health care to poor people, and just again and again and again. We are here to say enough is enough. And we are here to say enough is enough. Millions of North Carolinians are working for poverty wages. Millions of North Carolinians are working for poverty wages. Struggling to find health care. Struggling to find health care. Living in constant fear that their loved ones will be arrested. Living in constant fear that their loved ones will be arrested. Assaulted. Assaulted. Or even deported by police and ICE. Or even deported by police and ICE. We have witnessed degrading attacks on LGBTQ community members. We have witnessed degrading attacks on LGBTQ community members. Trying to force us back into the closets and back into the shadows. Pack your bags, Pat! 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 What are our demands for Pat? Why are we telling him to concede defeat? Pat should pack his bags because every worker in this state deserves a living wage. Every worker in this state deserves affordable health care. Every worker in this state deserves the right to be dignified in their job. I want a governor that respects all faiths of all religions. We want to build bridges between us, not to separate us. And so I'm here today to celebrate your defeat. And that didn't happen on accident. That happened because people resisted, because of Moral Monday, because people fought HB2, because people fought anti-immigrant policies, because women hit the street and said that, the, that their bodies belonged to them. And they did all of that to defeat you, and they showed up on election day to defeat you again. Stop repressing social movements. From Charlotte Uprising to the Boycott, Divestment, and Sanctions movement, you are attacking our people. We have a right to protest unjust policies. People of color have been living in fear for a very long time in this country, and having people like you in power only make that a whole lot worse. Um, it's time to go. You need to go home. You need to leave. And you need to let us create a new political reality for who we want to be. So pack! So pack! You hear us? You hear us? Pack your bags! Pack, pack your bags! this morning because I needed to be with my people and know that the fight doesn't stop here. It never stops on election day. It keeps going. Um, and we planned this knowing that no matter what the results of the election were today, that we would be mobilizing regardless. Um,